Good morning. Welcome to build day 37. We're on the 37th day. Last year we finished on the 37th day. I doubt we'll be finished today <laughs> with what we've been doing. Uh, as you can see, I'm not outside. I'm downstairs. Uh, I've been spending the last couple hours doing some editing. Uh, what I've got going through my editor right now is the uh, footage that we will be playing in our photo op out in front of the haunt. And it's a mix of Atmosphere FX stuff and some Cindy Skinless and the Decomposers. I went and bought uh, a bunch of their discs that they had for sale. That way I could use them, you know, throughout the haunt. Uh, I've got some Cindy Skinless playing in the graveyard too. But, uh, the photo op is just about an hour long, so it's going to take a while to save. And I got a Kaylee down here, who's looking all over the place. I think someone else came downstairs with her. Uh, but, I've got all five of my projectors, smart sticks, ready to go and get plugged into the projectors as soon as I get, on, uh, get them installed. Got to wait for this to save so I can get it on its little flash drive. I also got these two drives here that uh, will be holding our uh, soundtrack for the pirate display and our music for our queue line. I got those on. I just got to get them onto their uh, flash drives. But uh, anyway, as soon as this is done, we're going to be moving outdoors. And... Uh, Today is pond day. We've got to get the ponds filled and get the pumps hooked up. And it takes uh, an hour or two to get those ponds filled. <laughs> Surprising enough, they're not that big, but it still takes a lot of time to get those ponds filled. But anyway, that's going to be our first, uh, first project for the day. Second project is going to be the curtains. i got to get all the curtains hung in between displays and get those set. And that takes a little bit of time, too. But that's basically what we're going to be working on today. Uh, once we get the ponds and stuff filled, uh, I'll give you guys some footage of the uh, fountains working. And let's keep my... I'm keeping my fingers crossed, hoping I don't have to go waiting to adjust fountains this year. Uh-huh. Oh, and I almost forgot, I was just going to get ready to turn off the camera. Breakfast of the day. Again, 32 ounce glass of Coke, which is almost gone. I've been working on it over the past hour and a half. And Sue Ann's Russian tea cakes. <laughs> she made up a huge batch of them yesterday. We call those Kaylee cakes, because Kaylee love, has a fetish for Russian tea cakes. She just loves the hell out of them. We put the whole container down, she'd have them gone in seconds. But uh, that's your breakfast. Russian tea cakes and Coca-Cola or Pepsi or Dr. Pepper or whatever you, you know, whatever type of soda pop you like. We'll, we'll, we'll be uh, lenient on that. So anyway, back to work. Okay, Kaylee and I have got the truck moved. Uh, I'm just getting ready to start working on the ponds. I don't have the hoses out yet. But I wanted to cover what I used to uh, dye the water. And this is something I got from Ho uh, Jose Lopez, a.k.a. Diablo85 from Hunter's Hangout. During chat one night, he recommended these. They're Trace Elite dye tablets. You can go over to uh, the Tool Experts and buy these by the bottle. It's like 15 bucks a bottle, and one bottle will last me several seasons usually. Unless I have a leak in the liner and I have to replace the liner, which means I have to re-dye the water. But uh, what they are, are tablets that dissolve in water. Okay, I'm adding five tablets, which is the amount I use for the uh, clown display, which is the uh, smallest pond that we do. Now the tablets are orange. And make sure you put the lid on the blender. And I just blend them up to get them to dissolve. And it's kind of creamy, it's kind of foamy, but once the foam and stuff settles down, it'll actually be kind of a greenish color. 
and it's in concentrated form now so it looks kind of orange but uh, once you dilute it down with water it has a greenish cast to it now all I need to do is take this out to the clown display and dump it in the pond then we'll come back in and I need to do three more blender folds and it's not a full blender you don't need to use all that much water I filled the uh, craft up about halfway but uh, I gotta do three more to go in the ponds in the water room and those ponds will get ten tablets now this test dye stuff or test a leak or trace a leak tablets they're a non-toxic thing uh, I wouldn't pop them like vitamins <laughs> that might not be good for you but if an animal cat dog rat whatever gets into it and laps it up it isn't going to make them sick it's non-toxic and it's like 15 bucks a bottle and there's like 50 tablets in a bottle or something like that but the stuff works really good uh, you can get it in the uh, green greenish yellow color which is what I got you can get it in blood red which I've used in the past uh, they also have a uh, blue one that one I would recommend staying away from that does not work all that well but the uh, red and the uh, greenish yellow work great but anyway I'm gonna sit here mixing and then we're gonna go out and get filling hey right. ponds and fountains are done figure I'll give you a look at them I'm standing here over in the spider area and I'm noticing Sue and Morgan had fun. They went and stuck a bunch of little plastic spiders in the cobwebbing here and there. You know, even this one got a few in it. But they were having fun. Uh, we're over in the water wall and uh, water wall area and surprisingly enough this one wasn't the one that gave me problems. Taking those jets out up top along here was the perfect thing because these side ones used to shoot out you know to about here so that relieved enough pressure but we got the water in and I did put a piece of plexiglass up and as you can see there's water droplets on the plexiglass so it is splashing out some but you know it's basically a splash from the uh, water itself you know, uh, hitting the pond. Now that pump running, it'll be running every day during the day. We'll keep things circulated and we'll keep the dye mixed in. Ought to be interesting. Now over here, yeah, you gotta go through the dang chain hole to get to the other half. That's the only problem with having the water area divided into two. There's always something in between you got to go through. Now the dragon, I didn't have to do anything in. I had to unplug it in and it is working fine. Now if I want, uh, I had the uh, adjustment on that fountain turned down a bit. And that's the way it went in, that red uh, toggle down there. I could open it all the way up and the fountain would shoot out more, but be honest, I think that's all we need. That works just fine. Now this one is the one I had a problem with last year. And I'm gonna have to, we haven't tested him with electricity yet. Remember this guy swivels back and forth. But that stream should stay right in the pool. If I have him set right. And I need to check his connection in the back yet. And I'll do that tonight. But all in all, by the look of it, because I'm not seeing any spray or anything in the back, you know, he's working as intended. We just got to check his travel back and forth. It was this one that was causing problems. Water was shooting out real far. And I spent more time messing with plexiglass to block that off. I had two smaller pieces. They weren't quite small enough, uh, big enough. So I ended up having to go down to eight and spend 50 bucks, almost, oh, what was it, 59.46 for a sheet of plexiglass down there. And it's uh, three foot by six foot. But it seems to be taking care of the problemo. So that pond's up and working. And then the clown, she's, he's working too. Same color water and everything. 
Now while those ponds were filling, I worked on a couple of miscellaneous projects. One of them, we got the door up. There we go. So when people come in, they'll be, oh, here, we'll go over here first. Show you this. Here's the uh, clown area for the hammer and clown. Now when uh, people come into the courtyard area, they'll have a projection there, a projection there, and when they go to go out here, the air blaster to deal with. Ought to be really interesting. Uh, with the door being hinged, and we don't want, you know, because we have people bump these and stuff from time to time. I don't want it swinging open or people getting in there. I went and put an eyelet on the back of the power station with a zip tie on it that hooks on that screw. So when we're open, we uh, will have, you know, it's kind of hidden from sight. You really can't see it. So if anyone bumps or whatever, I'll, I'll shake a little bit. But you can see the screw just kind of, you know, you'd really have to look for it. And at night it'll be harder to see. But I'll keep them from pulling the door open and getting in. Because they won't know where it's secured at. But uh, that's where we've gotten to. That's where, the, the, where I've been spending most of my day on. Uh, we also naturally got out into the uh, photo op and got the power cord plugged in for the pump. If I hadn't have done that, the pumps wouldn't have been work, uh, working. But I did that and worked on that door while the ponds were filling this morning. It took a little bit to get everything going, but at least the ponds are done. I knew they were going to be a chore. Now, my next job is to take Kaylee for her walk. We get back from doing uh, doing Kaylee. We're gonna get in here. I gotta get the black plastic out, and we're gonna start wrapping the bars here, and you know, getting the doorways in. That takes a while to do too. So, but that's all I have on my bucket list for today, really. Oh, and I have the one LED for George to maneuver as well. But we'll get there. And see, she's waiting for me right there. She wants to go with Papa. Go walk in. Yeah, she's wiggling. Anyway, I'm gonna take her for her walk, and I'm gonna get back. Now I'm gonna get back to work. Well, Sue Ann just called dinner. I've been working on putting these curtains in. It's just a uh, simple black plastic. I stapled up to the bar and cut slits in it. I started at the entrance. Started working my way through the haunt. And these curtains really make a big difference because it breaks up your sight line. Makes the uh, rooms feel more like rooms even though you can see light coming through them. And another one here to separate the photo hallway from the graveyard. You know, it's surprising how big of a difference those curtains really, really make. It makes the uh, maze feel totally different. Even though I know there's nothing different about the maze. You know, it's the same as it's been for the last month. Damn near. And into the water wall room. And my last curtain I got done was here for the chain hallway. Get through here. Now I have a curtain to put here yet. And another one here at this transition. Now I should have a third curtain over here that I need to put in. Right here on this bar to separate it from the exit. I think I'm gonna make it four curtains. And I'm, I think I'm gonna put one here on uh, this bar here. 
uh, to make it feel like they're going into another room to kind of trick them since they uh, get a curtain before each scene change even though I got pi some pirate stuff in here so I'm down to four curtains and I think they're gonna have to wait till tomorrow I'm not doing them tonight in the dark I got time I can uh, you do it tomorrow now I'm gonna go in and eat dinner time I'm done with dinner will be dark enough we are going to plug in the clown and the water rooms I want to see how the water is reacting underneath the black light. I also need to test the air blasters over over in the uh, water wall room as well. I want to see how those react and see if they need any, any adjustments or anything. So we'll do that tonight. You'll get some footage of that and then it's going to be right in the wrap up and we're calling it quits out here early. I can afford to do that now. And I like that idea. But anyway, for right now though, it's dinner. Okay, we're out here. We're out here uh, testing the uh, clown display right now. I need to check the water blaster. Sue, where are you at? Come here. Keep an eye on that water blaster. Just stay, just stay right there. Oh, I don't want to stay right here. <laughs> okay. People are gonna get wet this year. <laughs> yeah, I got wet standing here. So did I. <laughs> okay, I gotta unplug the clown. And then we're going to reset and go look at the water rooms. Okay, we're headed over to the water wall room now. So you're getting an impromptu walkthrough with everything turned on in these areas. Okay. I don't have something plugged in on that one or turned on. Oh, I bet I know what it is. Sounds like they're farting. The clown, though, is going to get people wet. Going back over this, I want to trigger it again. You don't get wet on this one. Sounds like they're farting. Oh, I see what it is. There's a heart or something over the nozzle. Oh no, it's right next to the nozzle. You do get a little wet. It's just not shooting clear up in the air. But the water is glowing. Whoa, it's getting more and more. The, ah! Yeah, it's getting stronger and stronger as they fire. Yeah, you have to build that up. You know. There may, may have been some air pockets inside, not enough water. Is that one going off more? Yeah. 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 Okay, now over to the video pumping station. Yeah. Whoa. I like the dragon. Yeah, look at the footage though on the camera. It's really glowing on camera. Yeah. And it looks a lot darker and dingier. In life. Yeah. Look at that. Uh-huh. Now we need that video playing up there on the uh, screen. Eerie eyes. 
And you guys will get a shot of that when we get the projectors in. Hopefully tomorrow night. Down. It looks like it's losing water. No. It, I could have sworn it was up at the top this morning. No, not this one. Can I get by, please? Thank you. Oh, the fountain is staying, water is staying in by the look of it. Yeah, I can't tell. But uh, anyway, here's your look at the black light room. Those water blasters are going to be nailing people this year. Anyway, stay tuned for your end of the day wrap up, guys. Okay, it's 729. <laughs> and I'm calling it quits. So this is your end of the day wrap up. Welcome. Uh, I've still got three or four curtains left to put up do that first thing tomorrow morning and then we'll have that finishing chore done then we're I think we're going to be moving into electronics tomorrow as far as today goes we got that door up <laughs> I got my LED aimed over at uh, George tonight so I got that moved and we got the ponds and ponds pumps and water blasters working uh, we are going to have some very, very wet people this year. <laughs> that uh, clown is really shooting out the water. And I don't know if I have a... Uh, oh, have a regulator on that. Probably something I ought to check. Uh, if I don't have a regulator, I probably ought to go down and buy one and tone it down. Because if not, I am going to be filling ponds like crazy. The uh, water wall, probably about the same thing. Uh, both of them, uh, there was some uh, air trapped inside. And uh, as they were firing, it was uh, getting, rid of the, getting rid of the air on the inside. So they're starting to shoot out more. Uh, people are probably going to get a little wet on those. So it ought to be interesting. Uh, I know uh, Craig, the other haunter up the street, is very interested about those water blasters. Well, he's going to come down on VIP night, him and his family. He'll get to find all out about all about them. <laughs> uh, but anyway... Testing and stuff went over fairly well tonight, I think. Everything's working as intended. The, uh, I am still amazed with the cell phone. Uh, I shot all that nighttime footage with the cell phone. The water, uh, the look of the water on the cell phone is totally different from what you're seeing in uh, real life. It's either that or my eyes aren't picking it up right. But uh, even Sue Ann was mentioning, mentioned it. Uh, it doesn't look any, uh, as bright as it did on the phone. I'm really liking that phone on that Galaxy. Uh, it's a Galaxy 10E, uh, I do believe it is. It has a really nice, nice camera on it. But uh, anyway, we're going to call it quits. Like I said, uh, we got to finish the curtains tomorrow. And then we're going to start getting electronics and stuff in. and Getting things tested. So, uh, we're going to be calling it quits. Shorter vlogs. Told you content was going to get less and less. But we are closing down on opening. Uh, it's Monday. We've got four days until opening. Three days until stress, uh, stress testing. VIP night. Stay spooky. Stay toxic.